Pollution. The presence or introduction into the environment of a substance that has harmful or poisonous effects on the environment, and even us. Pollution comes in a variety of different ways. It may come in the water, in the land, or even in the air. There are also two others, much less well known, light pollution and noise pollution. However, those are not the worst of our problems. Pollution can ruin our ozone layer, it can prevent plants from growing, and even kill our animals. Let us start with a very dangerous, but little known form of pollution now, the dangers of land pollution. Land pollution can be formed through many ways including industrial activities, domestic waste, and agricultural activities. Land pollution is caused not just by landfills and domestic waste, but also by many other things including the deforestation, which is the cutting down of trees, industrial wastes, such as nuclear substances, mining, and even some forms of mechanization. Domestic wastes, including landfills can be a huge problem. Domestic waste is the buildup of home garbage in a certain place. They are of a huge threat to the public. Landfills will attract detrivores and decomposers, which are in some cases, not good for the environment. These detrivores can include mice, voles, seagulls, and other nasty beings. Despite all the problems posed by land pollution, that is not the least of our problems. One serious problem posed by us would be the introduction of water pollution. Water pollution is not something that only comes from one source. It comes from many, and those include wastewaters, sewage, marine dumping, and industrial pollution which includes oil pollution. Wastewaters are very dangerous, both for your health and the health of your ecosystems. Sewage would include all feces, urine and other toxic wastes. If this waste is not treated though, the bacteria will escape, causing the spread of diseases and impurification of water, leading animals to die. When chemicals are in the water, they will cause immense damage to other nearby ecosystems. This type of water is referred to as brown sludge. On the other hand there is also a huge issue, called coastal or marine dumping. When substances are dumped into our water bodies, it will be known as marine dumping. No information about this was kept before the 1990s. Any object could potentially be dumped into water. These may include oil, plastics and other objects. Oil, however, is one that is very dangerous for the health of our ecosystems. Oil takes a long time to be broken down naturally, and moves quickly throughout the seas. One prime example of this inaction would be the famous BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, as shown here. In case, British Petroleum has sent seven oil spillage cleanup vessels in order to deal with any potential pollution. Katie? Under the Bay Signals Bridge. So, you see it. I mean, it, it's raining oil. Another type of dumping is the dumping of chemicals. If there is too much alkaline in the water, then animals can't survive at that pH level. Indeed, they will die. One other huge method of water pollution would be the dumping of plastics and other objects. These objects choke and will kill over 100,000 marine animals each year. Some beaches may even contain so many pollutants that it can become an animal graveyard. However, aside from the beaches, there is one place where this is definitely present, in the Pacific trash vortexes. Each one of the two is almost twice as big as Texas, and is only growing larger. These two garbage patches are connected by a string of trash, called a 6,000 mile long convergence zone. There are vortexes in every major sea or ocean. But did you also know that there is air pollution? Air becomes polluted when noxious gases or black carbon particulates are released into the air. There are three main gases that cause air pollution. These are sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxides. Sulfur dioxide occurs mainly when coal or oil are burned in power plants. This gas is also commonly found in smokestacks, as shown here. Carbon monoxide is caused mainly by gasoline equipment. Others are aircraft, diesel and railroads. Carbon monoxide is much like carbon dioxide, meaning that it is a harmful greenhouse gas. Nitrogen oxides only occur at higher temperatures. It facilitates and causes acid rain. It is known to cause eutrophication. It is caused, again, by transportation vehicles and power plants. Now to move on, a brief overview of black carbon pollution. This phenomenon may account for 18% of the world's global warming. It causes soupy brown air, 
This is only used to describe industrial particulate pollution. Did you know that nature creates its own pollution too? Volcanoes spew ash into the atmosphere, providing a stream of sulfur dioxide. The acid reacts with sunlight and blocks it, sort of like what happened on Mount Pinatubo. On over towns and farmlands, killing more than 300 people. Wind storms can also kick up dirt and place it in the atmosphere. Forest fires can create industrial sized smog and can release carbon from the trees into the atmosphere. Organic matter dies, and when they do, they will release their carbon into the atmosphere. Also, when warmed, our oceans will release some of the carbon they have stored causing natural pollution. Please note that this was all under regulation before the arrival of humans. If not for us, pollution would not be a problem. Pollution also has negative effects on our ecosystems. Amphibians are hit hardest by water pollution. They absorb water through their skin, so any toxins present get directly inside their bodies. Insects will no longer be able to glide on water, due to the amount of pollution in the form of debris, or oils, in a land ecosystem. When chemicals seep into the ground, plants may be tainted, and will not be able to perform core functions. It's about time that you face the facts. We must do something about pollution. Pollution is bad for our health. It kills millions of people each year who get heart disease, lead poisoning, and even some lung problems. And furthermore, 40% of America's rivers are too polluted from fishing, swimming or aquatic life. What can we do to help this growing problem? We can recycle, plant a tree, get better fuel-efficient cars, or even contact our local authorities and governments to raise awareness and put in place plans to make our community a cleaner, ecological place. We uh, just passed over uh, the development uh, in uh, northern Alberta of uh, the tar sands. Pollution affects us through the air, the land, and the waters. This is something we must be aware of as we proceed into a hopefully greener future. So this is a good day. It's a good day in the fight for cleaner air.